Week one of Skirmish 6 is in the books with 104 LL points scored across the globe. Icelander is ahead of pace and Oldham is actually lagging behind. So let's look at the numbers and discuss. A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando! Hey there, fab folks, and good morning. Welcome back for a quick check-in. I actually have to get to work here in a little bit, but we got an update today from LSS on the Week 1 results for Skirmish Season 6. And it is worth talking about, not just because it's news, but because things aren't quite going, I think, the way we necessarily thought they would. Spoiler alert, Oldham's looking like he, at least he's not on pace. Let's say that. He's not on pace currently, which is very worrisome. But Iceland there is, so anyway. So just to remind everybody, so for Skirmish Season 6, which is active now, two more weeks remaining, there were uh, 585 total in gem, which correlated to 610 points available overall. And in the last video, we looked at what the win rates would need to be for those heroes to make it. And Oldham needed roughly 8%. Icelander needed roughly 25%. So for season six, week one, there were 104 blitz events logged. That's base. I'm calculating that based on the fact that there were 204 points scored, right? It's easy math. Uh, but again, I'm going off their numbers, not off of actually going out and pulling the individual data. And also I do want to remind, I I have down there 500 total points remaining roughly, because again, this was based on me counting what was available in gym last week. So if there were events that had gotten logged later or what, there, there could be a slight difference in that, but by and large, we're lowballing it. So if we're trying to get people to LL, that's, that's the right way to go. So 104 Blitz events last week, Icelander got 34 wins or 32.7. Kasai actually logged 9.7% at 10. Oldman Dash both eight wins at 7.7%. Chain actually got seven wins at 6.7%. Those are the top five. And uh, like I mentioned, there's roughly 500 points remaining or so in the season. But those four points may make a difference when we're looking at here, which is what the... So I, I updated the table that we looked at in last video talking about this. Uh, I changed it a little bit, trying to dry your eyes to certain things. So overall, to for if you did not see the last video or whatever, just to bring you up to speed. So what we did is we looked at the number of Living Legend points remaining for each hero. And then with the 610 points estimated available for this season, what their win rate would need to be in order for them to LL. And number one and number two, Icelander is relevant because they're the ones closest. Uh, if Also, if you are comparing this table to the last, you'll notice that the one, two, three, four, five, the order of them has changed because we had some heroes move up and, and down, which, which makes sense, right, as heroes earn points. So the order is, the numbers are all still the same, but the order is slightly different if you're going back and comparing the two. But either way, all of the data is right here. So let's tie in the week one data and what that means to us. Uh, you know, we already kind of went through the summary, but what you'll see over there on the rightmost column is percentage of wins. I have one marked orange and I have one marked green. So we had talked last time, you know, you can very clearly see the wins needed on Icelander. She needs 25.25%. So Icelander is ahead of pace currently to actually make living legend status. That is surprising. It's, it's surprising and it's not. It, Everybody knew Icelander was good, crazy good. I questioned whether or not in the Blitz format she would be able to do one out of four. That seemed like a high order, but clearly she's doing it, or at least so far in week one. We'll see how people adjust, if they adjust in a three-week season. I mean, it's already Thursday, so I don't expect many changes for... And it's Thursday in the U.S. I don't expect many changes for this weekend in terms of what people are going to bring. What are you going to do? I mean, I guess you could flip last minute, but ho hopefully you get get my point. And then Oldham is behind, barely, barely, but he's behind pace. And I honestly thought he was going to be well ahead of pace. So that's very surprising. Uh, you know, Kasai, I don't think is a surprise to anybody, but what I 
do think is a surprise, at least to me, is Reinar. I th- honestly thought Reinar was going to just be trouncing people. He's only got six wins, two, roughly 3% of the wins. That is shocking to me. Really shocking. Really shocking. So I, I, I don't know. That, that one really surprised me. I thought he'd be 10, 15%. I also thought Oldham would be, I honestly don't know where I thought Oldham was going to be, but it was way higher than below pace. I mean, we could potentially have Oldham still in the meta. So anyway, we can go round and round and round on it about how I'm surprised and how we can adjust and all that. But there's the data. I thought it was really interesting to look at. Figured we'd chat about it because we got the got the roll up. So let me know what you folks are thinking below. I mean, again, I, I don't think it's a surprise that Icelander's doing well. We all knew that was going to be the case. I think she's... A, I'm all I'm all about it. If she can get there and not all out, it's great. But, not but, that's great. And in addition, I would really like to see Oldham LL out. And let me know in the comments if you're playing Reinar. Why do you, why do we think Reinar's not doing better? Very interesting to me. Very, very interesting. So anyway, let me know. Like I said, a quick one this morning. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Appreciate you guys. You folks, always appreciate you folks. And if nothing else, go Commando.